everybody. This is Beach Cricket. I'm at my job working, so I thought I'd do a little update. Um, the puppies are doing really good. Um, if you saw the last video, you saw that they were just little cute little squiggly things being born, and um, it's been so much fun. <laughs> anyway, they are now two weeks old. Their little eyes are open, and they're crawling about, so it's really cute. And I thought I'd share that with you so you could see the progress. And it's kind of fun. Who doesn't like puppies? The uh, wrist is healing well. Um, I have about two and a half more weeks, and it should be cleared for um, taking this thing off. <laughs> I uh, had the stitches taken out. There are stitches all the way here and all the way here. And... Um, yeah, it was about, hmm, about $5,000, <laughs> but hey, Medicare took care of most of it, so I think I've only paid um, under $300 so far for all of it. They immediately send the bill really quickly <laughs> afterwards, so I'm keeping up with that. So very happy and very blessed that uh, that's uh, taken care of, so not a worry there. But it's doing good. It's just still a little kind of tender right about here, you know, because I'm trying to move my wrist. And I'm hard-headed, you know. I have to just let it rest and uh, let, it, let it heal. So anyway, that's the update on that. I'm enjoying uh, everything it's uh, in life. Doing uh, really well with... Uh, just working and enjoying my pups and friendships and uh, the camaraderie of uh, having some really great co-workers. So that's nice. I love this job. It's really fun. And, um, you know, it's, it's nice talking to the people from different places that they're traveling. And since I was a traveler for, you know, over seven years, it's really fun to share experiences with them. And, it's been so much fun when uh, we get people from international, you know, visits, and I'm like, wow. I've got to meet some people from the Netherlands, um, in Japan, let's see, England. What else have we had? Oh, we just, you know, Germany. Yeah, it's been great. Oh, in Switzerland, too. Yeah, that was, that was really nice. But they... Uh, you know, or enjoying the U.S. and uh, experiencing their travels over here. I would love to go abroad and, and vice versa, get over there and see what's uh, available. Um, it is more true to my heart and um, experience, I think, to understand the whole European continent now that I have, you know, figured out from ancestry. Uh, where my relatives and ancestors have come from. And um, so learning history about all of that has been fascinating and scary and mortifying sometimes. You're like, oh my gosh. But uh, so grateful for being born in the USA in this time frame. But anyway, um, it is fascinating to learn about your history, where you came from, from and uh, you know how the migration went and how everything ended up over this way. So anyway, still working on a lot of that and enjoying it. It's um, just always a surprise <laughs> at every turn when I'm uh, doing research on on all of that. And I've been helping out friends as well, uh, learning how they can uh, trace back their ancestry too. So it's been nice. It's fun. I've really enjoyed it. I just have always enjoyed history, but it it adds a lot of you know levitivity to the whole concept of who you are and what history is all about when you are tied in with it and didn't realize you were, you know, it's just fascinating. So, um, you know, it's, it's just been a whirlwind of experience and, and learning and exploring 
And I guess since I was a nomad at heart, always, <laughs> it came true to my DNA for sure to realize, you know, the whole, the whole concept of how everybody moved around and went through their lives and traveled and migrated and the history behind what they had to live with and deal with was uh, pretty amazing. So anyway, with that, we are going to do a video of the pups. Oh, and also we had a really interesting little thunderstorm that came through. And so there's a little snippet of that as well. All right. Enjoy the video. Take care. Peace break it out. Well, here we are. We are two weeks old. Yeah. We're getting some little eyes open. Are you looking around for the first time? Yeah. Little chubby wubby. Lucinda is taking really good care of you. I keep feeding her all the time because she looks just so thin. But she always looked thin before and ate all the time. It's just her way she is. The others look very well fed. <laughs> There's Daddy over there. See, Lucinda just looks so slim. You get your figure back after having babies. And here's here's Riley. Yeah, Riley. Always look nice and <clears throat> healthy wise on a good weight. But Lucinda has always been on the thin side. But she is an excellent mommy. Oh my goodness. Look at these two fatties. Little boy, little girl. I can see the little girl, the white one's eyes open. Let's see if we can see his. He's dark, it's a little harder. Yeah, let me see you. Can we see you? No, it's a little hard to see you. No, oh, maybe, yeah. There we go. What are they doing, Lucinda? Hmm? What are they doing, baby? They being babies? Yeah. Let me see your eyes. Are you going to wake up one day? Oh, yeah, looky there. I see your eyes. Yeah. You're starting to look at the world. They're okay. Oh my goodness. Oh. Do we need to put him back up? Oh, he was just a little scared. New adventures for him. Oh, you care about him. I know. She's coming over to me. Help me, Mom. They're all right, Lucinda. They're starting to explore. I, I took them out of their little house. And um, I wanted to see how their eyes were doing. And I also wanted to see him squirrel around. Sleepyhead. You were sleepyhead. Oh, yeah. You're so pretty. 
This is the one I'm thinking about keeping. It's a little girl. <laughs> yeah. I want to keep them all for you, but I can't have six puppies in the house. No, too many. Got to find good homes for them, which I will, because I'm very picky. I am a serious dog lover, and they've got to go to really good homes. Yep. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, it was fun sharing that with you. And, um, you know, it's just life and any kind of joy that you can get from it. Why not enjoy it? And the experience of sharing um, new life with these puppies is just wonderful. It, it just warms my heart. I love dogs anyway. They really have a very special, you know, place in my heart. And um, to see this whole miraculous birth and watching the puppies grow has been so much fun. The, the pups have um, always given me so much laughter and joy every day. When I come home, I feel so loved. I can walk out the door and come back in just two seconds, and they are just so thrilled to see me. <laughs> And it, um, it warms my heart. I mean, it, it, they truly have um, that just loving, unconditional love that you feel all the way down to your soul. So it's, it's very special. And having the pups has been a, another avenue of just love and uh, happiness for me. So anyway, with that, we're going to sign off. We'll see you guys in the next video. Y'all take care, and um, I wish you the best. Bye!